Who's back there? There's my Patty. Patty, you, you said hi to somebody, didn't you? Somebody pass you by, sweetness? So anyways, slippers and socks are... Or flip-flops and socks, right? It's a very, very tacky trend. Typically from those uncool adults from way back when I was a kid and what have you. Here's the question I have. Who the hell made that a style, fashion, whatever? Because I don't remember that being in any of the books I've seen from the 20s and the 30s when the older people that were wearing them growing up, 50s, 60s. Typically back then, you were supposed to dress classy, especially if you had a good job. So you wouldn't walk out in less than a suit or a dress. I don't mean a dress like an evening gown. I mean, you know, like a like a dress. So I don't know when they start wearing flip flops and socks, but whatever. I just thought I'd mention it. Anyway, so we're gonna paint. We're gonna plant another money tree. All right, it's about ten o'clock. I think it's time to go see my Bertha. Make sure she's awake. Go see my Paula. Make sure she's awake. Hi, Bertha, baby. If you're clunking on that DIY stand, you are. I mean, it's... Will you do something else? Bertha. Hi, my sweetness. I want you to go out, do things. You are, and it's scaring me. Yes, I do. I don't have that. Love you, Bertha. So that's new. I mean, Bertha, I didn't go traveling around the world to find you so you could stay home all day. Ladder down. Thank you. Now that, yeah, like I said, I'm considering going to an island. I mean, might as well. I mean, I don't think I can recruit anybody. What the hell is this? are growing back and I don't like it I gotta talk to Rowan I talk I didn't talk to Cheddar Chatter but I'm not gonna talk to him he he's probably putting together his house hi my baby you're awake you tell him, baby, and you know what? I'm totally agreeing with you. And since we were on the subject of eggs, I don't have any. I don't have anything to give you. Oh my goodness, I've, I have nothing to give you, my love. I'm very sorry. Hey, you know what? Um, here, I'm gonna give you my hard wood, baby. I love you. I love you so much, Paula. I give you something, it's just hard wood and, well, <laughs> if I gave you that, I hope you'd smile. No, I give you a hard wood and you you grin and you enjoy it and you're just the best. Love you. What was this? Well, it's good that Paula was my first true friend. So this shows up just for six hours from April to September. Not bad. So I was hoping we could discover something new together in this wondrous adventure. Okay, do I have anything? Not really. I mean, I've got a lot of empty space. Let's go. Let's travel. I want to get out of this freaking rock. Okay. 
See, the thing is, I want to hang out with Isabel more, but she's only there for me to kick people out. Hi, baby. Yes, sir. Hi, my baby. Of course I do. Everything Isabel says I agree with. Yeah. I don't have amiibos. I have nay amiibos. Bam, give me that shit. I didn't even know you could buy amiibos of characters. Alright, first and foremost. I'm gonna give you all this. My savings. For now. Yeah, I'm not really rolling the dough, man. I gotta figure out a way that I can roll in the dough. Bell vouchers, okay. Nook miles, do that. Yeah, we're gonna go flying. Thank you. Nope. I'm out. I'm out! Alright. Let's take a flight. See where it leads us. Bo. Too bad I can't just invite the ladies. Because if it's so random, then it could just be a bunch of freaking guys. And I don't want any sausage vests. Because then I'll have to go outside and ask what's with the sausage vest. Anyway. I love the music in this place is great. That's exactly what it is, my friend. And I'm not just happy to see you. I want to use my Nook Miles chicken. We ain't got a ticket to run. I'm all packed, ready to go. The Born Identity. Fifth movie, Airborne Identity. Okay, let's take the Wright Brothers meets Buddy Holly plane and hope it's not snowing out. Can you imagine that somebody actually told three of the top young artists at that point? Yeah, take that plane. It's nice and safe. Don't take the bus. That had to be set up. I don't trust anything anymore. I smell conspiracy on every single thing. Because when you think about it, like, Buddy Holly and Richie Valens were somewhat controversial. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm just saying, they were somewhat controversial because Buddy Holly was doing new things with music and so was Richie Valens, more or less. So I'm just throwing that out there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. You're a child and you don't know much. Not to say that you're an idiot. It's a freaking black bash. Do I have to give him three at the same time? Is that what he's talking about? Well, speaking of the low quality of everything, sports had this thing with the top football. Of course, it has to be football because everyone gambles on it, so that's all they talk about. But they had the, the team of the decade or whatever, and I couldn't name more than half. No, I couldn't name anybody, really, other than Tom Brady and fucking Aaron stupid-ass Rodgers. But... And 
and I'm saying to myself, when I was growing up, man, I could name 40, 50 ball players. I didn't watch as much as, as I did as a young man, you know? And I could name ball players like, I could just pull them out of my ass, the names. And if you said top 10, I'd have a top 10 in like no time. Now I can't name three people. And with all the coverage and all the attention these numbnuts get, you would think that I could do a lot better than that. I don't watch sports per se anymore, but I at least pay attention to it, and I can't name anybody. And it just goes to show you how the sports are shit now, because even with all the access to these teams and these individual players, God, I still can't name any of these numbnuts. You suck at what you do, and you get paid more money than anybody else that's done it, so it's pretty lame, Millhouse, that's all I'm saying. And they get treated like gods, man. They can do whatever they want. Say whatever they want, more or less. Tire. They never lose their jobs because they try to make it seem like they can relate to us. Because that's what rich people try to do with their incapacity to make anything innovative, inventive, conceptually, and fundamentally sound. They try to put their own stamp of everything exactly the same. to have you buy it is they relate to you. Well, I don't give a rat's ass about relating to me. What I care about is quality. And the quality of everything here in the United States in the modern day sucks! That's why I haven't even noticed. Because I wasn't going to... The only time I was going to go to the movie theater in, in the next few months was when Black Widow came out. I was contemplating seeing... Morbius, I actually read Morbius comics and noted what it was about. Marvel has a funny way of taking the cheesiest ideas and making them somewhat plausible. DC, and I'm still not really a DC fan. I still am not. I mean, I love the Bat family and all that. I'm in love with Wonder Woman. That doesn't, you know, I'm also in love with Black Canary. Pretty much every woman in DC. The Great Santana, obviously. Huntress, obviously, because they're all Italian. Now, Huntress... It just goes to show you what DC does with Paisans. Huntress is the daughter of a mobster, and the Great Santana is the daughter of a magician. So we're either mobsters or we're circus sideshows. Another forget Well, you know what? I got three right there. Or two, anyway. Are any of you black basses? It's like black bass territory. That's an egg. Black basses appear to be very hungry characters. Three hey, listen. I got three black basses for CJ. So, really, the only movie I was going to see was going to be Black Widow. And I read her comic, too. I read, like, her origins. Because I'm a comic reading fool. Now I am, anyway. Not when I was a kid. Couldn't afford them. But... But I read her origins. They're actually really interesting. They're not going to go the route that they did in the comics, though. I can tell. I thought that the guy that the guy from Stranger Things was playing was the Crimson Dynamo, but it's not. She was actually married to the Crimson Dynamo. It was one of those things where Black Widow had so many different... She was so deeply invested in the... in the secret agent thing, double agent thing, and the fact that she grew up as pretty much an agent for hire for the Russian government. She more or less didn't have a, a life or an identity of her own, kind of thing. And it was very interesting. And there was this guy that was like her teacher or whatever, her, her mentor, who actually was in love with her and tried to put the moves to her. I don't think they're going that route. That was shit. 
But the fact that Taskmaster is in it is really good. Will I be able to go to the motherfucking movie theater and see it? Don't know. That's four. I have four black basses. I don't know what's going to happen anymore. None of us do. But what I do know is that that was the only movie I was going to say. So the quality of movies, despite the price of them, because that's the answer from rich people when you're not buying something. Well, we'll just charge you more for it. Make up for you idiots not liking our vision. <laughs> This is stove. <laughs> Bell bottom mambo, this is stove top walking stick. <laughs> yeah, I caught like 15 black basses. Let's get a black bass model. Or collectible. Black back. Black bass. Yeah. I don't know why I turned that into a tongue twister. Black bass. Real easy to say. Because I kept trying to say black bass. Black bass or something, like I was repeating it. As if the black bass was what it was called and the black part of the black bass was just an added black to it. Whatever the case. <laughs> CJ, where you at, man? Don't tell me you left. Oh, there you are. Alright, good. Here, I got something for you. Hey, Francis. I got something for you. Alright, so here you are. <laughs> Bell's jingling. Alright, so anyway. Dude, you're like all the wannabe... I have five of these? You're the, all the wannabe ghetto numbnuts that play Smite and type their junk on the... On the airwaves while we're supposed to be playing. I gave you like six of those. What? Oh, I gotta give it to oh, the. Oh, you're such a douche, man. I gave you a six friggin' fish, man. I'm a patty, darling. Alright, is there anything else? I could sell some of this crap. Yeah, let me sell the, the weeds and sh stuff. So, anyway. Yeah, Black Widow looks pretty interesting. The next Deadpool is going to be pretty interesting. Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I didn't even know there was a Phase 1 or a Phase 2 or a Phase 3. But apparently we're up to Phase 4. That... I, I don't want to say they're grasping at straws right now. But they really did themselves a great disservice when they didn't introduce the... The Eternals, the Fantastic Four... The X-Men, when they didn't introduce all those before this next stage, before Thanos, I should say, that kind of did him a great disservice because it would have made Thanos' arc a lot more interesting. And the fact that they didn't introduce Lady Death. That means you're giving me 3,000 for the other stuff because it's 10,000 for the gold. You little sucking ass cocker. Okay? That's what I have to say to you. Not to mention the fact that they took Nebula's character and said, Hey, remember all those things we were building up? Remember that? Remember that? Poof! Gone! Gone! No, she didn't want to kill him the whole time. She didn't despise him and resent that. No, no, no. She wanted to please him. So when she was ready to destroy a thousand planets to kill Thanos in the very first appearance, which you went back to in Endgame, the same time frame, she actually was trying to please him. 
I guess killing him and th destroying a thousand planets would have pleased him. I don't know. I already have Amber, huh? So I go out of my way to travel to another island just so I can get shit that I already have. Thanks a lot, Mon. All right, so anyway. Boom, 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 boom. I'm thinking of... What the hell is that? Hold on, do not... Do not go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. Don't disappear. Motherfucker! <sighs> I had it, I had it. I'm thinking about it. Do I really want to collect the bulb of fish? The answer is no, I don't. Loach! I'm gonna test this out, because I don't like being screwed out of my money, right? I'm a nice, wonderful, honest, beautiful individual, but if you try to fuck me out of my money, I'm gonna fucking break your ass. So, let me just see for a loach what you're willing to pay. Weeds! Who's allowing the weeds to grow back? No. Somebody would say nature, but I don't buy it. I'm gonna sell you a loach, all right, CJ? Alright, CJ Nikowski, I'm gonna sell you a, ro a loach. <laughs> Let me see how much you you are willing to pay for this little shitty fish. <laughs> Six hundred. All right, you know what? I'm selling my fish to you because I think I get like two hundred out of that from those little bastards. <laughs> If you want fish, man, I'm always fishing. Let me see. I wanted to sell that. I want to pay off this loan for this extra room that I'm not even using. And then I want to get to the infrastructure of this place. But I was thinking of working on the It's on Switch Man channel. And getting through the Jedi Academy, Jedi Outcast games. The only thing with Jedi Outcast is it's taking me forever to get through it on my stream. And it's about an 8-9 hour game. Maybe 12 hour game. Because the difficulty is off the charts. Now I did brighten the place up. For some reason I keep playing these games at such dark hues. Yeah. And I'm not a brooding Japanese... RPG hero, so I don't know why I keep doing that, but I couldn't see jack shit when I was playing, and then finally I brightened it up, and I was like, oh, look at that. So that could help, but at the same time, the game just has an excessively stiff difficulty curve. It's very steep, too. Um, hi, my Isabel. No, actually, I don't want to do that. Invite a ah, camper, get it? Okay. Dude, we are at... Oh, my God. 
140,000. It's not even worth looking at. But I just want to see, is there, okay, let me just take a look at something. If I, would this be part of a loan or would I have to pay this straight up? I'm pretty sure I have to pay it straight up. Well, if I don't have to pay it straight up, then why don't I come up with something better? Yeah, let me get a better one. Again, if it's a loan, then I'll just pay it as I go, right? Alright, so let's go with a better, let's go with a, um, let's go to Stonebridge. Yeah. Alright, so let's do that. Because I'm tired of not having this bridge here. I, I, we need bridges. Using the freaking vaulting pole is getting out of hand here. Right, so let's see. So right by the stone bathhouse, or stone bath, let's put this puppy here. Well, it's not my fault that you have an inconsistency. Yep. You got it. There's the fire hydrant. That means I'm going to have to pay for this. Alright, whatever. So we'll do it that way then. So I can just keep putting stuff all over the place now and I can, okay, so there we go. All right, we'll do that. I'll see you when I come back next time. Take care.